Hello, I'm Bagantia Blackbird of the Blackbird Grimoire. Welcome to the Daily Forecast for Monday, August 12th, 2024. It is the Day of the Goddess, the Moon's Day, and Manny's Day. It is the 22nd of Leo, the 8th of Hazel, the 22nd of Salmon, and the 17th of Hayonir, which is the Haymaking Month. In our astrology, the sun remains in Leo, fixed fire representing achievement. The moon is first quarter Scorpio, fixed water, which is secretive. And then at 1019 a.m. Central Time, it does go into the second quarter. Mercury is retrograding in Virgo, mutable Earth, which represents reflections. Venus is in Virgo, mutable Earth, representing perfectionism. Mars is in Gemini, mutable air, which means to be pugnacious. Jupiter is in Gemini, mutable air, which is about questing. Saturn is retrograding in Pisces, mutable water, which is about redefining dreams. Uranus is in Taurus, fixed Earth, representing renovation. Neptune is retrograding in Pisces, mutable water, which is about spiritual awakening. And Pluto is retrograding in Aquarius fixed air, which is about examining intentions. And of course, the reminders for the retrogrades themselves for Mercury, it's reevaluate communication patterns. For Saturn, reclaim your authority. For Neptune, reclaim faith, joy, and imagination. For Pluto, reclaim your ability to regenerate. And for Chiron, restore your heroic spirit. Our moon phase will be moving into waxing gibbous, which means it is still time to cultivate those intentions, uh, but to do it with a little bit more oomph at this stage. For the Scorpio moon, uh, some of your do's are focus, research, go deep. Uh, some of the don'ts are cultivate new acquaintances, family gatherings, manipulation, all things uh, best avoided while we're in the Scorpio moon. Uh, and... Uh, just expect an intense kind of day. The waxing Scorpio moon is building up energy and it is just looking for a place to focus that energy. And when a Scorpio energy focuses, I mean, it is like a laser beam. Uh, so any task that requires your absolute undivided attention is ideal for today. And it's also a good time to connect with people on a deeper level if they are also on that same wavelength. Uh, if they're not, uh, perhaps, uh, restrain that urge a little bit uh, because again this uh the scorpio energy can be extremely intense and not everyone really feeds off of that uh so just be mindful be aware and act judiciously our tarot for today is the hanged man it is the, the occupies the number 12 and uh, the um, major arcana and then when you break that down with numerology you know one plus two equals three which is the first stage of completion which is what this represents and uh, the key words for this are contemplation, response, difficult decision, seeing things in opposition, and having a change of perspective. So in short, if you feel stuck, try an unconventional approach. And it could be about absolutely anything you might be feeling stuck about. Uh, just taking that different perspective, uh, trying to take it into account uh, perhaps different views, different ideas, uh, something that is outside of the way you normally handle things that might help lead you to a breakthrough if you're really feeling stuck. So uh, just give it a try today. You might feel better. Today's Celtic triad reads, three things a guest should never bring to another's house. Ill tidings, presumptuous license, and treachery. So uh, never bring trouble or sadness unnecessarily. Now, sometimes, of course, bad news has to be delivered, and it should be done in, um, in a manner that doesn't make it worse than what it already is. But in general, you know, you shouldn't be going over to someone's house, their space, even, you know, you know, uh, in, in your dealings with people online, you know, don't be bringing them, you know, a bunch of junk, uh, especially if it's going to give them trouble and it's not really something they need to worry about. Uh, just something to keep in mind, especially since, you know, it does seem like uh, bad news, awfulness. It spreads enough just on people's timelines, but to, to, you know, when you start taking it to DMs and to people's groups and everything else, you know, not re really not a great idea. Uh, unless you know people very, very well and, you know, you're unburdening your heart to them because you have that kind of relationship. Uh, but if the relationship is a bit more distant, you know, just perhaps rein some of that in. And then uh, presumptuous license, license. So it's about not taking improper liberties, you know, restraint, modesty, and deference to and now I have video again. <laughs> uh, deference to the host is really becoming a guest. It acknowledges that uh, you realize, you know, you're not in charge here. You are here by invitation, uh, very gracious invitation, and you're not going to abuse their hospitality by um, trying to lord it over them, you know, trying to make things difficult, uh, you know, taking too much, assuming too much, just 
being too much. And then on the matter of treachery, you know, it really ought to go without saying, uh, you know, not to enter someone's house if you're intending to commit some kind of betrayal upon them. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's one of those things that just should not have to be said. And it really is a condemnation upon our world and our society that so many people, that's just how they operate. They're looking to take advantage. They are looking to manipulate. They're looking to get what they can get while the getting is good and then just leave people high and dry afterwards. It's a terrible way to behave. And of course, the only, I mean, you can't make people stop, but you can certainly uh, refrain from inviting people who behave in that manner uh, from being inside of your social circle. Circle, let alone your house. Uh, there is um, there is our, some responsibility we have to take for ourselves because we don't have to choose to keep company with absolutely everyone. It actually is okay. And honestly, it's a good idea to have some sense of standards about these things. Now for our magical correspondences, they are centered on the theme of insight. Uh, the color is silver, the plant is eyebright, the animal is the coyote, and the crystal is clear calcite. It looks very similar uh, to clear quartz, but they actually are different stones. Now there is no shame in confusion, particularly not in our current climate. If you are not confused about anything, uh, then you probably need to take a few steps back, ask yourself, why am I so sure when everything is, you know, when information is compromised, when we don't have all of the available information that we really ought to have, when not all of the people who deliver information are particularly ethical or truthful. Uh, if you're really sure that you've absolutely got the right end of the stick on everything, you know, you probably need to just rethink how you are collecting your information and conducting your affairs. Uh, but for most of us who have not fallen into that particular trap, you know, we do get confused. We are looking at things and just trying to sort it out. It does feel like a, a full-time job. So we can use our magical skills to help clear our vision, to, uh, you know, to get past the distractions, to look what is the heart of the matter, what actually matters, uh, you know, what is it that is actually the problem or the issue here. Uh, we can absolutely use our, ma our magical skills for that. And honestly, we should. Next up, our practices for today. Um, uh, just contemplate uh, what part of yourself is most like the moon or most like lunar energy. Uh, for the Hermetic Principle today, it is correspondence. Look to see that in action today. And for the Witch's Pyramid, uh, it's the West Wall today. So how do your emotions color your spiritual perspective? I think that could be some very interesting things to meditate upon today. Uh, then what is your favorite lunar symbol? And uh, try to meditate before bed. Journaling, what do you hope to find in your dreamscape tonight? I don't know about anyone else, but I've been having uh, very visual, very active uh, dreams that have just really stood out lately. So whenever that happens, it, it is definitely a sign uh, to pay greater attention. And just in case anyone else is in that same boat, I thought I would toss the suggestion out there because you know, our dreams are really the only way for our unconscious mind, the part of our mind that is without words to communicate things to us. So when it's, when it's getting loud, that means there's a message it's been trying to get to us. And for whatever reason, we just haven't gotten the hint. Uh, so try to make an effort to pay just a little bit more uh, attention because that really is the only way this part of us uh, has a way of making itself known and its concerns known. And that will do it for today. Have a fantastic day, everyone. If you would care to, you can follow me at Blackbird's Brew on X. The Blackbird Grimoire is available on YouTube and Rumble. And if you would care to uh, get to know and relax with some other uh, witches and wizards and pagans, uh, you could join the Oak and Elder Witchery. There's a link for that in the description box. And uh, hope to see you there. But I think that will do it for today. So again, have an absolutely fantastic Monday. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.